for running through the house, playing tag, you're it. Big no-no. He had, I thought, grippy socks on and running, he slipped, fell, and we heard the crack. After they took off his cast, Dr. Fortuna came in and was like, okay, I still don't want him weight bearing. I don't want him in regular physical therapy. Are you able to take him in water therapy? Nice work, bud. I'm Taylor Clark. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Penn State Health. I really think that the benefits of water therapy are incredible for these kids, especially we have a lot of kids that have arthritis or we have our cerebral palsy in the pool. <laughs> and we get to be a little bit more creative than what we typically could be on land. So in the pool, we're able to start working on standing. It was also working a lot for his strengthening and endurance. I always say that as a peds therapist, you need plans A through Z. So whatever you were planning on doing at the beginning of the session, the kid is probably gonna make you go through the entire alphabet of plans before you actually get what you want done. I'm amazed. I was really scared about how he would be going to start walking again and when the first day you know she had him walking a little bit and using his legs to pick stuff up or like to kick makes me so happy and overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs>